Hi, I'm Kara for Hamilton Beach, and this is the new Set and Forget Programmable Slow Cooker. It's the perfect slow cooker for taking to picnics, potlucks, and parties because the clip-tight gasket lid reduces messy spills. The spacious six-quart slow cooker can handle a four-pound roast or a six-pound chicken. You have three easy choices for cooking, program, probe, and manual. Operating is simple. Just add the ingredients, cover, set the time and temperature, and forget it until you're ready to eat. For heavier roasts, use the thermometer probe that displays the actual temperature of the meat as it cooks. Just set the probe to the desired meat temperature, and when that temperature is reached, it automatically switches to keep warm, so it'll be fresh, hot, and ready to eat when you are. The full grip handles make carrying heavy meals easy. Now that's good thinking. Meet the Ninja Foodie family. Now, there's a foodie for everyone. And by everyone, we mean the roasters, the steak grillers, the sheet pan meal thrillers, the bakers, the cocktail shakers, the skillet cookie makers, the supers, the burger flippers, the french fry dippers, the toasters, the smoothie sippers, the chicken wing crispers. Whoever you are, whatever you want to make, be proud of what you cook. Hi, I'm Deborah, and I'm here to introduce you to the Crock-Pot Cook and Carry Slow Cooker, a cooking solution that is as at home in the kitchen as it is on the road. The stylish stainless finish looks sleek and clean on any countertop, and the secure fitting lid and locking system ensures that your recipe can go wherever you go with no hassle and no mess. To show how easy it is to make delicious, healthy meals, today I'm preparing chicken cacciatore by simply tossing in onions and peppers, parsley and garlic, along with chicken. Put it right in there. And tomatoes, canned tomatoes. Now I cover the pot and set the cooking temperature to low. Ten hours later, the crock pot cook and carry slow cooker has done all the work. And the removable stoneware can go right from the counter to the dinner table. Whether you're preparing a meal for the family or for a party, the high and low temperature settings offer cooking time flexibility for your recipes, while the warm setting keeps your dish hot and ready to eat without burning for hours. Best of all, the cleanup is as easy as the cooking with the dishwasher safe stoneware and glass lid. No matter the occasion, the Crock-Pot Cook and Carry Slow Cooker is the perfect solution for today's busy on-the-go lifestyle. Cook, carry, and go. All clad slow cooker, seven quart. Prep home cooked meals on any schedule. Features four cooking modes, up to 26 hours total. Stainless steel lid retains heat and moisture. Integrated riveted handles to go from countertop to tabletop. Includes stainless steel cooker and lid with cast aluminum insert. Insert cannot be used in an oven. 19.9 by 14.2 by 11.3 inches. Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, and this is the Cuisinart 3-in-1 multi-cooker, and we call it the Cook Central. It's extremely versatile. Let me show you some of the features and functions. First we have our removable glass lid. This is tempered. You'll notice it has a high arch handle. It also stays cool when you're um, lifting it and moving it around. It's rimmed in steel, which is a nice accent. So I'm going to put that down for a moment. And next is our removable steaming rack. This position with the leg, large legs at the bottom is the high position, and this is a low position. And you're just going to put that inside when you're going to do any type of steaming. I'm going to set that over here. This is your removable cooking pot. It's non-stick inside, so it's really easy to clean up. It's six quarts, so it's a generous size, so you can make a lot of food, especially for entertaining or for um, family meals. There's also some really nice little uh, divots here, which are great for pouring out ingredients after you're done cooking. Has nice, sturdy side handles, and like I said, it's removable. 
So when you're done cooking, if you want to, for any reason, put the leftovers right in the fridge after you cool them, it's easy to do. You just put the lid on and you're all set to go. You notice the um, housing is all stainless steel. It's really beautifully designed. It's easy to keep clean. And in the front here, you notice that this is the control panel. It has a really nice large window, so it's really easy to see your times and your temperatures when you're operating the slow cooker. The nice thing about the slow cooker, it has three fully programmable cooking functions. On the far left here, you have slow cook, and the slow cook function has four functions with it inside of it. So it has lo low slow cooking, high slow cooking temperature, has also a simmer feature, and also keep warm. Then you have your brown saute. I really like brown saute because it's great, especially when you're doing any type of braising. You don't have to use a separate pan on top of the stove. You can do it right in your slow cooker. And it's important for a lot of recipes, um, like the one we're going to do today, which is a lemon rosemary chicken, where you want to get a nice brown on that chicken before you actually slow cook it. Helps you develop really great flavors. The other thing is that the last function is steam. And steam can be used to steam vegetables, fish, you can even do custards in there. The nice thing about the steam function is it works up to um, 90 minutes. And one thing I forgot to mention on the slow cook function is that it's um, programmable up to 24 hours. And when you use the slow cook function, it also goes automatically to keep warm when it's done cooking after you've programmed it for the uh, proper time. And that's really important because say you're gonna be late um, getting home from work and you're like, oh wow, you know, I put the slow cooker on. This will automatically switch to keep warm so you don't have to worry about it. Your food will still be nice and hot when you get home and you can serve it right away. The other thing I should mention too is that when you're doing brown saute, the temperature is adjusted by pressing this button down or up, and that's how you pick your temperature. And that temperature can go from 150 all the way up to 400 degrees, so you get a nice um, high heat on that. So today what we're going to do, I'm going to shut it off actually for a second, and then I'm going to start again. I'm going to brown saute. So brown saute, and I'm going to do on brown saute on 400. And what we're going to do is we're going to let it heat up for a few minutes, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to start making my rosemary chicken. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get started by making our rosemary lemon chicken. Now I just want to tell you what I did to um, program this to heat it up in advance. What I did was I hit brown saute, I hit the plus button twice to go on 400, and then I hit start. And what's going to happen is the 400 will flash on and off until it gets up to temperature. When it's actually up to temperature, it's going to beep to let you know you're ready to cook. Now what we're going to do is remove the lid. And I'm going to put in a little bit of olive oil right in the pot. And then we're going to start adding our chicken in. First what um, I did, just so you know, is I pre-seasoned this um, flour. Uh, with salt and pepper. You can actually, if you prefer, what you can do is directly season the, um, the chicken. But what we're going to do is dredge it in the flour lightly, each piece. We're going to put it right in the pot. So we're going to continue on. We're going to do six pieces at a, at a time. Um, but today I'm going to just do the half so you can see how simple and easy it is. When you put the chicken in the slow cooker, make sure they're not touching each other. Um, you know, spread them out as best you can. Today we're using chicken thighs. I like to use chicken thighs because it has a lot of uh, great flavor. It also is really moist. Okay, so let's keep doing this. You can obviously use your hands if you prefer. You don't have to use the tongs. Just doing this so that my hands don't get dirty. And this is a really, really flavorful recipe, and it's also really simple and easy to make. You can cook enough chicken in here for um, a family, and even have leftovers if um, you have a smaller group of people that you're feeding. So continue just dredging this lightly in flour, and this is going to help later with um, finishing your dish, because what's going to happen is that flour is going to help make um, a nice sauce. So what we're going to do is cover the lid, we're going to let it brown, and then we're going to come back and turn the chicken over. So now what we're going to do is we're going to check on the chicken, make sure it's brown, and then we're going to turn it over. So take off the lid. 
I'm going to show you how nice and brown the chicken got. You can see. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn the six pieces over. I'm going to show you how really nice this browns and sautés. That's really helpful when you're um, going to do a, a braising like this um, or slow cooking. It helps you really um, incorporate a lot of great flavor into your chicken. So we're just going to put the tongs down. I'm going to put the lid on. We're going to let the other side brown and then we're going to come back and finish off the cooking for the recipe. So now we're going to do is um, take the chicken out because it's browned on both sides. You can really hear it sizzling. I'm just going to um, show you how nice it, and brown it is on the other side. Got some really nice color on there. So what we're going to do now is reserve the chicken and continue on with the recipe. This is really um, going to be a fragrant and um, flav flavorful dish when we get done. So the next thing we're going to do is um, we're going to turn the temperature down by pressing this button twice and that's going to bring it down to 350 and what we're going to do is we're going to add our onions and start browning our onions. This is going to add a lot of great flavor to the dish. So I'm just going to toss this around a little bit to get some of the juices from the chicken mixed into the onions and we're going to start browning that and I'm going to add a couple more ingredients. So first we're going to add our rosemary sprigs. This is going to make it really nice and flavorful. And the salt. And then um, give it a chance to brown a little bit. Oops, I forgot the garlic. Just put the garlic in. And then we're going to mix that up a little bit and let it give it a chance to um, brown. And what I'm going to do now is add some lemon juice. This is going to give it a really nice fresh flavor. So we got to add the lemon juice, let it cook a little bit, let it reduce, and then I'm going to continue on. This is a really, really simple and easy recipe to make. Now what I'm going to do is add the chicken broth for lots of extra flavor. Also, you need the liquid because you're slow cooking and lots of lemon zest, which is going to give it a nice color after it's done cooking. And then what we're going to do is um, we're going to put the chicken back in, add some lemon slices. So just put the chicken, it doesn't matter now that it's browned if they're touching each other. It's going to lay the chicken on top of the onions. Now this is a dish that really you only had to take a few minutes to put it together. You can do this in the morning really quick or on the weekend. And now we're just going to add our lemon slices all over. It's going to add really nice fragrance and also it's going to look beautiful when you go to dish it up later. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put the lid back on and now we're going to program it to slow cook. And the one thing I like to mention about this is this is where you can use your combination cooking without having to turn the machine off. You just switch to slow cook and then you're going to put the temperature, it's automatic, it comes on low. You're going to press it once so it's on high. And now what we're going to do is we're going to actually put the timer on. Now this happens to cook for two hours. So you set it on two hours. And what's going to happen is it's going to continue to cook and we're going to come back and check on it and show you what it really looks like when it's all done. So let me show you what the chicken will look like when it's all done cooking after the two hours. It's a beautiful dish. It's really flavorful. You can use, a, you know, a more inexpensive cut of chicken because thighs are not expensive. And you make a, a beautiful, tasty meal for your family using the three-in-one multi-cooker Cook Central by Cuisinart.